Hi, welcome back to Frazzle Dad's Minis. I'm Jim, Frazzle Dad. Today's episode is a bit different. Uh, I want you to meet Dave. Here's a picture of Dave. Dave is my brother-in-law, and he came into my sister's life years and years ago when she was in a dark time, and he lifted her up something fierce. Amazing guy, loves the outdoors, um, really active, happiest when he's on a bike or in a kayak or a canoe or has a backpack on his back. And uh, he and my sister took lots of neat trips, um, but unfortunately, we lost Dave to pancreatic cancer the other day. So I wanted to make something that spoke to me of all the great memories I have of Dave. And this episode is walking through how I built and painted something that brings back a lot of great memories. So I knew that I wanted to have something outdoorsy, so I started looking around for a print of a hiker or a backpacker. Um, I didn't have any luck because my skills at searching suck, but thankfully, uh, the folks over at the Once in a Six Side Discord uh, have a Help Me Find STL uh, channel, literally. And somebody there found this particular piece off of Colts 3D. Uh, there's a link down in the description to it, but this was like spot on. I knew exactly this was what I wanted. Unfortunately, I actually didn't get a good shot of the figure before I primed it and got rolling. Um, anyway, here's the figure. Uh, it's a great little sculpt. It's even got a nice little map that it's holding on to. So, a uh, terrific little piece here. First off, apologies for the framing. I actually changed lenses and I'm experimenting around with uh, a longer lens trying to get uh, better framing and better picture and ran into some problems with focus and anyway so here I'm using AK's not AK uh, Pro Acryl uh, tan flesh and some light umber to just block out the skin uh, things were a little pale so I started mixing in a bit more of the light umber uh, to darken it down a bit, but um, this particular figure, there's not a lot of detail on the face, and the skin isn't really the main part of this, so it's just getting something passable down. Here I'm working with AK's Olive Groon, option number two. There's a one and a two. Uh, I actually looked up at colors on Kelty's backpacks. Uh, Kelty being a good backpack company. Uh, have no idea if Dave actually had a Kelty or not. Anyway, there was a pretty cool uh, olive green pattern that I liked. So that inspired me to choose the color. But yeah, blocking this out and moving on. AK's Dunkelgelb uh, makes a pretty good start for some khaki. Uh, later on, I'll mix in some of that light umber for some shadows. Uh, it took probably three coats to get this on, but uh, man, it's lovely paint. It just buttery, flows really well. Um, yeah, good stuff. I've jumped ahead a bit here, uh, blocked in the undershirt with some uh, Pro Acryl uh, Coal Gray and uh, you can also see that I've done a bit of um, highlighting on the backpack. Uh, did some edge highlighting, picked out the pockets a bit, um, and then just getting this lovely black red as an overshirt. Um, and here you can see I've got some of the shadows on the pants, uh, some of the creases I mixed in some light umber with the Dunkelgelb and uh, have been glazing over a bit. A little later on, I'll take some uh, ivory from Procryl, mix that in with the Dunkelgelb and use that as a highlight. 
and uh, try to just to add a little more depth and you know pick out some of the volumes. Here's uh, some of that highlighting. Here I'm working on highlighting and uh, getting some shadows on the shirt. If you weren't aware, mixing uh, white into, I got my big fat head in the way there. Sorry about that. Uh, if you weren't aware, mixing white into red to try to highlight gets you pink, which may be what you want, but generally isn't. A really good way to highlight reds is to actually mix in some orange or sometimes a yellow. Here I'm mixing in some Pro Acryl orange, and then also for the shadows that was taking that AK uh, red and mixing in some Pro Acryl dark warm gray. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. I decided to use some Seraphim Sepia wash to get the skin uh, looking a little better. Um, add a couple uh, highlight volumes that uh, I just didn't want to spend the time feathering or glazing over. And a wash is just a great way to get uh, some additional, um, yeah, some additional shading there and kind of smooth those things out. Uh, this wasn't so much a wash to pick up. You know nooks and crannies rather it was to just get a little better skin tone quickly here I am cutting out a backdrop that I made the night before out in the garage just airbrushing on some inks onto a piece of plastic cardstock this backdrop is pretty meaningful. This is actually uh, a lake where we've had a family cabin since the 1930s and Dave and my sister were married there many years ago. Uh, they were actually married there the year after my wife and I were married. It's a very meaningful place and uh, this is actually an outlook on a hiking trail high above the lakes. I wanted to try something freehand on the map, but I really struggled with what to put on there. Uh, it's fairly small, it's at a really odd angle, and it's difficult to get in there. Um, and I thought about you know, writing the great unknown and uh, an arrow pointing toward that, but that was way too much to get on the tiny spot given the weird angle. So I just settled on a question mark and an arrow. Um, I have my own ideas about what comes next. Dave had his about what happens after we shuffle off this mortal coil, and I thought that was a pretty good uh, way for me to express that. Now it's time to get cracking on the base. You can see here that I've uh, gotten the base painted. I used Rust-Oleum Black Primer, then hit it with... Um, some Green Stuff World Max Darth, that's that nuclear, dark, blackest black stuff. Um, stuff sprays really well through an airbrush, by the way. I've got things taped up here because I am going to start putting down some AK uh, ground paste and um, start getting that laid out uh, here pretty quick. And then I've got a few rocks that I pulled out of uh, my yard that really kind of fit the, um, the feel of where the family cabin is. It's up in the high Sierras and there's a lot of just huge granite uh, trails and rocks, big slabs. And I thought these felt um, like they'd be a good fit. Uh, and I'm intentionally hanging a few things off of the edge to break the vertical line of the plinth, uh, and that's intentional. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool way to approach this. I had to scrape some holes in the um, ground paste and the primer and paint. Um, I can't remember why, but I had a reason for leaving everything off and doing it this way. 
than just working on getting the figure glued down. I used black glue and accelerant and I um, think that worked pretty well. So here I'm just continuing to add some more rocks on and then uh, move on to getting um, some other stone from, uh, I don't know, one of my gravel and rock collections. Uh, just adding some bits and pieces, uh, good old skanky brush, dabbing it on there, and uh, also getting some grass tufts put in here. Now it's time to actually glue the uh, back piece on, uh, the backdrop. So I'm carefully spreading out uh, black glue and uh, I'll hit the back panel with some accelerant. Um, I've got some tape ready to hold it in place in case I need, but this is a matter of just being really careful. Um, and. Uh, Yep, just lining everything up. And I did leave the back of the plinth um, masked so that uh, it was a clean surface to be able to mount it to. And with that, we're done. I got this put together in fewer than 24 hours. Uh, not including the print of the figure. I started that Sunday night uh, when I knew he was on his way out. Um, but it's interesting how grief can kick off creative juices sometimes. Um, yeah, this was a lovely little project to work through. Realize this is a very different tone than my other videos. I hope you understand. Um, I hope that you found this interesting. Please do all of the usual things. Subscribe, like. I'd love to hear a comment if you found this uh, impactful to you or if you just dug it. Um, but remember, be kind. Learn something. Explore around. Experiment. At the end of the day, it's just paint and plastic. And sometimes it's a little bit more.